doing something practical, it's making something practical. It allows me to create something that I can use in real life. Engineering is making your environment more efficient, finding solutions to problems in not the most obvious of places. It's taking science out of the laboratory and actually making it a real thing. It's the thing we can feel, we can touch, it's the real things. Gathering knowledge from all your sciences and really applying it. Engineering is the society around us, it's everything that you're standing on, you're working in, it's the entire infrastructure of life. When I was little, all my toys always ended up disassembled and then taped back together into something completely different. And it's just led on as I've grown up. Bigger things get taken apart and made into different things. I grew up witnessing roofs of houses, you know, being ripped off. I grew up seeing little timber houses being tossed about the place like cardboard boxes. Um, and I always wondered, how can I actually use materials to come up with a building or a bridge that's strong enough but yet is very light and doesn't succumb to the effects of the natural hazards so readily. Look at the leaves, how are they photosynthesizing? Why can't we use that? That's when I started thinking. And as soon as I see it in the books, I was like, I'm doing this. I wanted to study a science and I wanted something applied. I wanted to know that what I was studying, I could see, I could see an effect as to what I was doing. Engineering would sort of lead me towards the eventual goal. It's a really broad subject. You cover a lot of the different sciences. You learn a variety of skills in all different areas. I looked around a lot of universities. Bristol was a great mix of a beautiful city, but the course was fantastic. It's such a great city for engineering. You're surrounded by history, Clifton Suspension Bridge, and the SS Great Britain, and there's always things you can go and see, and it really makes you realise how relevant your course is. Its reputation is very good. Bristol as well, you see how multicultural it is. I mean, in my course, I have friends from all over, and that adds a lot to your university experience. I chose to study engineering in Bristol because of the opportunities to be close to world-renowned researchers. Even in my first year, most of my lecturers are renowned in their fields for the research that they do. We're definitely learning at Cutting Edge Technology. It's very informal, um, very friendly atmosphere, and the teaching itself is brilliant. It's, it's not just all practical, it's not just all theory, it's quite a nice balance of them both. I have had students coming to me and telling me I really enjoyed this project because it wasn't just made up. It had real data in it, it had a real question, it had something which nobody knows the answer to work is backed up by laboratory sessions and lots of practical work which I think is brilliant for actually uh, forming a firm understanding and actually having a great time using what we've learned. The benefit of teaching from a research point of view is that I can teach the students what they need to know in 20 years time and I'm doing that now before the textbook has been written. The research that we do in this lab is all centred around testing structures, new ideas for structures. In this laboratory, the research we get up to is really all about earthquake engineering and structural dynamics. I deal with unmanned air systems, so I deal with very small air vehicles up to the very large scale where you're talking tens of metres across. I design different kinds of solar cells. You try and increase the efficiencies by converting all these photons that's being absorbed into electrons, so in effect electrical energy. My research is looking at uh, taking composite materials, which are these new advanced high performance materials, and adding function beyond the structural role. So for instance, adding a self-healing function so that it can repair itself as damage is imparted to it. The work that we do is to study the fundamental science of light and then to look how we can engineer that to applications in secure communications or in computing. In all safety critical applications like aerospace and even in automotive, you want the structure to perform as well as it can all the time. So if any damage manifests itself, you want that damage to be mitigated and self-healing can do that. Once you've got more efficient cells and more affordable cells, people would be able to utilise free energy basically. Unmanned air systems themselves are going to become increasingly widespread in their use in the coming years and the work that we're doing here will be employed both within the military and civil fields.
There are a lot of really interesting uh, breakthroughs we've made in this laboratory and one of the examples is uh, the seismic wallpaper which is good at protecting brick walls against earthquakes. The breakthroughs that we're actually making are coming up with new details, innovative details for bridges, understanding how these bridges fail, um, how to make them stiff without using too much material and how to build them in such a way that minimizes the disruption to flow of traffic on the motorway. As engineers, we're the people to investigate these new energies and to construct those buildings or to make them energy efficient. Pretty much everything we do, we've got to consider what's the effect on the environment, how can we make it more sustainable. On the very small scale, we're trying to develop uh, more efficient ways of producing microprocessors for PCs that use lower power. And then right up at the other end of the scale, it's obviously renewable power and energy efficiency in the electricity we're using. Sustainable engineering is really where we've all got to go. If it's not sustainable, uh, there won't be a world to live on. We designed and built a car that has uh, wind turbines on the front of it, electrical generators on the back end of those turbines, and that electrical energy is then converted and sent back out onto two motors on the wheels and converted back into mechanical energy, which drives the vehicle forwards. The new developments that this project's brought to us is really the collaborations. They're bringing together of students from a range of disciplines. The thing that we end up with is far better than what we could have produced individually. This is a second year project where I ask the students to design some little buildings. They all go on the shaking table uh, and then we test them to see how well they've designed them. This particular uh, competition I also run as an international competition, uh, Dynamic Designs, and that's been taken to China, uh, to Korea and to India. I like things to be quite informal and that's the best way for the students to actually learn to be creative, to explore ideas. We get quite a lot of creative control on some of the projects that we do. Um, even if it's quite a set project that we're doing, we get creative control over how we implement it. We're actually very lucky in Bristol to have our own supercomputer called Blue Crystal and people on our course in third year have direct interaction with Blue Crystal. It's very, very up to date, very current. A lot of the research we do here uh, ends up out in the real world very fast. A lot of our students who are doing research uh, for particular companies will end up working for those companies over the summer uh, and potentially getting jobs with them at the end. We were able to arrange a networking event where we got loads of local um, industries in and national industries and it was great to be able to go around and be able to see what they could offer us and what they were doing. It was all very current work that they were working on and they could, they could show us there and then. Without engineering, we can now have the car and buildings, computers, and even the plane we take come to Britain to study. Before, engineering to me meant building, constructing, machinery. But the course I'm doing, especially, has showed me that engineering really is very broad and there's no limit anymore. I haven't looked back at all. It's great, great fun. I love it. There's so much opportunity. Here I am, doing research where I want to be. You're making a difference. It's leaving your mark. If you didn't have engineers, we'd all still be roaming the fields chasing deer. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Can you keep that in? <laughs>